I'm Jesse from the BuzzFeed food team and today I'm going to be testing six celebrity mashed potato recipes to find out which one is actually the best. I have recipes from Gordon Ramsay, the Pioneer Woman, Tyler Florence, Ina Garn, Oprah, and for a little bit of fun I have a recipe from 2 Chains. This morning I peeled all the potatoes and I measured everything exactly as the recipe state to find out which one has the best recipe and just level the playing field. I picked my winner, but I'm going to have three of my friends pick their winners today in a taste test. Which celebrity has the best mashed potatoes? Well, let's get mashing. Oprah uses both red and Idaho potatoes to make her mash. She uses a ton of butter to make them super creamy. She uses a hand mash to make them nice and smooth, seasons them up, and adds her secret ingredient, an entire bottle of horseradish, so we know these potatoes are going to have a kick to them. Mmm, these look heavenly. A lot of like uh, potato skin in here. There's something in here. It smells like horseradish. It's definitely some soul in these mashed potatoes. I don't hate it, but I don't like it. Next up is the queen, Ina Garn. Ina Garn uses plain old boiling potatoes to make her mash. She covers them in water and salts them so the water seasons the potatoes from the inside out. She mashes them through a food mill, which is an old school of mashing them and pretty labor intensive, but they come out nice and smooth. Once they're mashed, she adds good butter and milk, mix that in until they're creamy, season them, and adds her special ingredient, sour cream. These look very classic, very your regular plain Jane mashed potatoes. I think it's just salt, pepper, butter, mashed potatoes. I don't like the taste. Texture wise, it's very fluffy. That I like It's creamy, but it's very simplistic. Up next, we got Gordon Ramsay with his recipe for champ, which is just a fancy word for mashed potatoes with green onions. He uses round red potatoes and cuts them into chunks so they cook evenly. He presses them through a potato ricer to make sure they're super creamy and there's no chunks left over. Once mashed, he adds butter and an entire bunch of green onions. He mixes those in and adds milk and cream that has been heated in a pan. He seasons it with salt and pepper and that's it. To me, it seems like a shit ton of green onions. Definitely not the mash to eat on a hot day. What a beautiful smell. It smells like my grandma's purse. Gorgeous. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. The onion and scallion is like overbearing. Ooh, there's like some heat to it. What's really interesting about this is that the scallion is not only adding so much aroma, but it's adding texture, it's adding a crunch to it. The chives work so well here, but the parsley is just like, what, what are you? Tyler Florence starts with Yukon Gold potatoes and does something crazy with them. He covers them in milk and cream, adds smashed garlic and herbs, and boils them directly in that mixture. He strains them out, but saves the cooking liquid to thin them. He adds that, mashes them with the hand masher until smooth, adds butter and a ton of whole grain mustard. He seasons with salt and pepper, stirs all that in and calls it a day. Hella yellow. I love these little seeds, they give it this little crunch. I feel like I taste a little mustard. I don't hate it. I mean, it's like if you took like German potato salad and made it mashed potato salad. Up next is a wild card, two chains. He gets a little fancy and uses Yukon Gold potatoes and leaves half them unpeeled to give it a nice texture. He cooks them in salted water until tender and drains them. He adds sour cream, parsley, butter, and garlic that has been boiled in a separate pot. He mashes it all together until smooth and seasons with salt, pepper, and even more garlic, this time garlic powder. And you can tell he's all about aesthetics because he garnishes with even more parsley on top. This looks like a classic mashed potato recipe. It's good. I want a little bit of salt, but it's good. But it's still super fluffy and then the garlic like really like smacks you in the face, makes my hair go like this. Finishing up the competition was the Pioneer Woman with the recipe straight from her ranch. She recommended using russets or Yukon Gold potatoes, so I decided to be fair and just use both. She boils them, strains them, and mashes them in a hot pot to get rid of any extra moisture. She adds a ton of butter, an entire package of cream cheese, half and half, and mashes that all together. She seasons with pepper and seasoning salt, but no regular salt. And she finishes it with even more butter. This is so buttery. You can see it on top. It's delicious. It's so good. Midwestern mashed potato deliciousness. My favorite mashed potatoes of all the celebrities was definitely Oprah's. It was very creamy, the texture was good. It had some like solid potato in there. Gordon's is my mashed potato first prize winner. The two freaking chains. Dude, if you're single and I happen to be single, I'll help you find someone, because that's not, I don't like him. 
But the potatoes, I do. I really do. I was brought in as the tiebreaker to determine which of these mashed potatoes is the best. That's good. The skin is in there, got a nice little flavor. I like the garnish on the top of this. This is delicious. I love mashed potatoes. I just found out that my favorite mashed potatoes are made by Gordon Ramsay. And there you have it. The winner is Gordon Ramsay. Oh, yes.